Hey you, have you ever wanted to just sit down and have some fun? Well say hello to Pizza Tower. You go fast, you run fast, kill fast, more killing cow. Save your restaurant, pizza, pizza, even more pizza. Pepino's pizza. Cool you want pineapple, pizza. giant rats, goblin, Santa Claus on a jetpack. Don't mess with grandpa. Pirate of fucking pizza fish. Pizza Tower. Get it now for twenty dollars. Stop wasting your life. Life, life, life. So I recently played and finished Pizza Tower after so many people said how good the game is and. Oh boy, I did not expect it to be this good. As the title of the video suggests, this game is a platformer? See, I wouldn't really call this game a platformer. I would call it something like speedrunning Mario X Sonic platformer on steroids. But that wouldn't go well in the title, would it? Now, for me, this game is the closest thing to a perfect speed game. Like, this is what Sonic games should have been like if they were good. But I'm getting ahead of myself. As far as I know and as far as I checked the game's development, the main game, like the gameplay and art, was mostly developed by one person, Tour de Pizza. And it took him about five years to make the game. Wait, wait, five years? If you guys don't know, developing a game takes time. Like, a lot of time. From coding to graphics and sounds, bug fixes. <laughs> and a lot of migraines. For a game in this size to be mostly made by one developer, for a game in this size to be mostly made by one main developer is absolutely insane. The game's soundtrack was made by other people and I gotta give credit where credit is due because the soundtrack slaps just as hard as the game. Just so good like it makes me want to order a, a, a pizza like yeah a pizza hold on guys wait I'll be right back have you heard of factor N no what's that also how did you get inside my house factor is today's sponsor have you ever wanted to cook food but you didn't know how to make good food or you didn't have enough time for it well factor's got your back factor is a fresh meal service with no prep no mess you get to choose your own meals from a variety of diets keto low calories vegan or vegetarian you get your fresh meals delivered to your doorstep factor chef created meals are fresh and never frozen their meals are also fitness healthy so no need to be worried about that as i said they're very flexible and you can choose your own meals with 27 plus meal options each week they're very convenient for those days where you just can't make good food or you're a moron and you don't know how. They're perfect for everyone. So use my link to go to go.factor75.com and use code FACTORS31820 for 50% off your first box. Thanks to Factor for sponsoring this video. Wow, that, that that's great. I really like this product, but how did you get inside my house? And there he goes. Before I fully start the video, I want to give a mini spoiler warning. I won't really be spoiling much other than the first few bosses at the moment, but I'll make sure to give a major spoiler warning when we get there. So anyways, let's talk about the story of this masterfully crafted game. The game starts with a simple opening where Pepino is minding his own business, probably on the brink of bankruptcy. And suddenly, a floating pizza head shows up and tells him that his restaurant is going to get blasted for the lols and laughs, I guess. Pepino panics and starts chasing the pizza to his tower and that's pizza tower the gameplay of the game is mostly inspired by wario land along with some other games like sonic now i've never played wario land i was a ps2 elitist that no one ever talked to Pepino's moveset is very simple but pretty hard to master you can walk run jump belly slam parry grab throw wall run wall jump super parry fling yourself upward and a lot of other moves your goal is to get to this pillar which is called john pillar fittingly along the way you can find secrets and save tiny little pizza toppings the cool pineapple is the best character in the game don't at me after you finish the level the pizza toppings give you money which you'll need to fight that stage's boss after you destroy john pillar you have to go all the way back to the start of the level now this may sound really boring however there are these things called john blocks after you destroy john pillar the level changes by swapping all of the john blocks in the level so you'll have to take a different path you'll also have to run back to the start with a timer which is called pizza, pizza time. time 
the timer runs out, the pizza head will show up and kill you. This game seems like the type of game where you want to be always running. Now, here's a tech tip. Do not do this. Don't always sprint like a moron. You will always run into walls and you'll never be able to maintain a combo. Yes, there are combos. We'll talk about combos later. This made me mess up a lot more in my first playthrough and made me feel horrible after getting an A rank because I felt like I never deserved it because the gap between an A and an S rank is massive. So for the sake of yourself, do not hold the run button 24 seven. I know it's really tempting, but trust me, you'll miss a lot of things and it'll be harder for you to replay the level. Why would you want to replay the level you may ask? Well, it's because you want to get that P rank, which stands for P Pizza or Pepino. Now, the way you get an S rank is to just get a really good score. But for P rank, you need to do a lap two mode. What is a lap two mode? Well, if you finish a level for the first time, the second time you play the level, at the end of the level, there will be a pizza portal. If you go in the pizza portal, you will be sent back to where you destroyed John Pillar, and you'll have to run your way back to the start of the game again. Now, here's how you fully unlock P-Rank. Not only you have to do two laps, but you have to maintain your combo for the entirety of the level, find every single secret room and go in them in one run, and save every single pizza topping. After you get your P-Rank, you can go flex to your one friend who pretends to care. I I'm sure your friend will love the P rank that you got on Pizzascape. Now, after you get your money, you can go to Mr. Sticks and give him your money to unlock the boss of the floor. All the bosses are pretty alright and they're pretty good. Except the Vigilante, I really did not like that fight. But every other boss is honestly an A or higher, in my opinion. And honestly, you can just tell that the developers had a lot of fun making the game and they just clearly have a lot of passion. Like how there's a lot of easter eggs. There's Sonic.exe, Sonic, a fucking Five Nights at Freddy's level. A main menu jump scare, which I don't know, may might be Five Nights at Freddy's, but I'll, I'll call it Five Nights at Freddy's easter egg. There's even more the chicken from the hit PS1 game, Mort the Chicken. I mean, how much better can you get than this? Almost every level in the game also has gimmicks. There's one where you literally become a pizza box, but my favorite has to be the Gustavo transformation, where you play as Gustavo. No, 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 not that Gustavo, as much as I want that to happen. What? Gustavo is in the intro of the game, and he seems to be like your friend, helper. And in the intro of the game, you can see him running away from a rat on the first level. And on the first floor, you can see him finding a rat. And on the third level, they become friends. And you'll be able to play as them on some of the levels, and they have their own moveset with their own tutorial. Now, I'm going to be spoiling some of the end fights in the game and some of the end levels that I really enjoy. So, a little bit of a warning. If you want to stop here, that's completely fine. Anyways, one of my favorite and last levels before the final boss is war because of how unique it is. But in this level, there's no John Pillar. Instead, you will get a shotgun at the start of the level, which will activate a timer. And you can destroy these computer things to extend your time. I, I just really like this level. It's kind of like a fast-paced Contra level, and I just really love it. You can also see Gustavo shooting a rocket at someone at one part of the level. It's like if Pepino's having PTSD or something. But anyways, let's talk about the final boss, which is one of my favorites. You'll get to the top of the pizza tower and you gotta fight Pizza Face, the final boss. You can see Pepino absolutely furious after what he's gone through to get to him. Now, he's actually really simple. All he does is spawn enemies and then slam his face to the ground and you just have to throw the enemies at him to be able to attack him. It's really, really easy. However, after you beat his first phase, then he'll get a second phase where his face opens and it reveals a clown pizza inside of him. Now, the pizza clown fight is honestly pretty cool. There's a lot of easter eggs, like him pulling up a body pillow. Also, one of the cool things he does is uh, he tries shooting himself, but it doesn't work. What a sad man. Now, after you beat him, you might think the fight is over, but nope. He pulls out all the previous bosses in a sort of boss rush mode. Pepino goes absolutely insane from the thought of fighting every single boss again in a boss rush. So he just snaps and starts slapping the crap out of the enemies. And so in this part of the game, the pizza clown or any of the other bosses are not the boss. You are.
then after that adrenaline inducing fight, you have to escape all of the tower in one go. And every previous friend or foe tries to help you out. And you gotta go all the way back to the start of the game, going through most of the mechanics and gimmicks and enemies that you went through previously, which is honestly just such a cool ending. But after that, the game just ends. And honestly, I gotta give credit to every single person who helped make this game happen. The developer, the music composers, and all the Patreon supporters that this game has. Honestly, thanks for everyone who supported this game. We need more of these games. This game is honestly, in my opinion, game of the year. But wait, the game is not over. Pepino's Judgment. Pepino will judge you for how much you completed the game. So, you better not have a low completion percent. Because if you do, your save file will get deleted, and his judgment will be final. Nah, I'm just kidding, you just get some funny reactions. Thanks a lot for watching this video and supporting me. Anyways, as always, the best way you can support me is just to like, subscribe, and comment. That, that's it, that, that's it. And also, optionally, you can go check out Factor, the sponsor of today's video. Thanks a lot to them for sponsoring me. You never know, you might enjoy their product, and you know, you'll be supporting my channel simultaneously. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!